typed into our origin. Okay, first of all, so this is origin. I haven't installed anything. I'm on my iMac. I'm just using the Windows managed system. I installed Citrix like years ago. Well, a year ago, and it runs perfectly. So I just you paste in some data from Excel or whatever, um, or type it in. I've just pasted in some random data, which is deliberately not a very good fit. I'm going to plot a scatter graph here. Now you can see that this is going to be a struggle to fit this, and I've deliberately chosen one which is difficult to kind of make the point as how, <laughs> if it works, how easy it is in origin. So you go fitting, uh, nonlinear curve fit, um, and then you choose the, uh, the dialog, and we want an exponential type function, and we want one exponential curve really is the easiest. Now you can do one step at a time to see how it's going along down here, like one step at a time to see how you're getting it on, or you can just hit OK and it will fit it for you. Right here, problem, couldn't really do it very well. And that's because I deliberately put in crap data that doesn't fit. Now this is my point about why it's so much easier to do this with microcal origin. Let's go back to analysis, fitting, nonlinear curve fit, open dialog. And if we're still obviously always fitting exponentials, really, aren't we? Uh, if you go down, we'll try two exponential fit. Now try two exponential fit. Now, there you go, it can do it. So it's telling you it's one exponential fit, but two exponentials, not one exponential. And that's what it is. But I've deliberately put in crap data. I'm going to review, to reduce confusion, I'm going to remove this fit. So I right click and hit remove. Reselect that so it finds it automatically. Fitting, nonlinear curve fit, open dialog. Really, we just want the one exponential bit which is coming at the end. And it's a pain to sort this out without a tool as good as this, although there are various ways of doing it. So what I'm going to do now is when I select the data here, but the range, it's the same input data, but the range, I'm going to right click this arrow and I will select the range that I'm going to use from here. So it brings up some things. I'll ignore all this crappy bit at the beginning and go there. I haven't done this before, so let's hope this does actually work. Hit return to select that. It takes you back to the dialog. Now hit one with one exponential. Will it do it? Yes. OK. So QED. Really, this is the way that these fits need to be done, something equivalent to this.